Okay, so this is going to be our uh, form for creating a new blog post. You can see we have a spot for the title, the body, the, and the uh, category. Now the options for the category are going to be generated from the database. So let's go ahead and work on that first. Okay, so right here in the select group, put our PHP tags. All right, so we're going to run a simple query that's going to select everything from the categories table and display them as options. Okay, so we just do select all from categories. Okay. Now we just run a, a simple while loop. Row equal query fetch object. Okay. So here we'll just echo out each option. Like so, so option value equals right here will be make it cleaner okay so right here will be the ID so it'll be category ID okay and what the what you'll see would be category okay close off the tag okay let's save that go back into Firefox refresh so there's the uh, category we created and the default first one. Okay, we can go ahead and pull up the source for this. You see each value is the ID. Okay. All right, so now we got our form set. Let's go ahead and handle the submission of it. So once post submit is set, we'll grab and create the variables, title, title, body equals post, body, Category will equal post category. Now we just do an F statement. Okay, this if statement is going to uh, check to see if all of those are there. What else? So if it's not, if all of them aren't there, let's echo missing data. Okay, let's see if this will work. Refresh. Get missing data. Go listen. Okay, so we know that works. All right, so now that we have everything here, let's go ahead and clean 
clean up everything for database uh, input. So we're going to we're going to escape the string. So title or equal to db real escape string title. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the body. And also the post. Okay, and also we need for a table um, the user ID so we can know who uploaded the, the blog post. So we can do that by just creating a new variable. You know we have at the top of the page where it checks to see if the user ID is set to allow somebody to view this page, the user ID will be stored there uh, in the session. So we can just go ahead and copy that, bring that down there. Okay. All right, so, and we need the date, which will be, hmm, we can do it with this, so date. Equals well, give it year, month, day, G I S Okay, so this will get the year, the month, the day, uh hour, minute, seconds. Okay, and then for also for the body, we want to save space in the database, so we're going to convert all HTML, uh, HTML tags into HTML entities. So we'll do it like this: body equals HTML en entities. Body. Okay. So we'll go right in here and we'll do, we'll run an if statement. Now, first, let's go ahead and just run the query. to post then put it the user ID don't need that title body category ID and posted now the values User ID, title, body, category, and the date. Yep. OK. 
All right, so let's just run the if statement if query echo post added. Else echo error. Okay, let's save that. Back into Firefox. Let's test this out. Okay. Hello. My very first blog post. Submit. Okay, we got an error. Okay, found a problem. Forgot to put these little parentheses around each of these. Stupid and simple mistake. So let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, we get post added. Go ahead and uh, browse. And there you go. So that adds our blog post. Okay.